Look at the table of tape. Our biggest difference you can see is that age discrepancy, 22 and 34, and then the record, one and two, three, one and one. And Carla's about 5'3", not 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> hey, self-report. Always, yeah. always self-report taller. Nice kick to the leg there to start the fight, trying to set that pace. And if we know anything about Carla, it's that she's going to come right out. Well, she's going to just, yeah, she's just throwing those pressure. kicks. Yeah, she's just... Straight away, you can see these women just working the cage, moving around. And Carla's the mother of three. She, she's, you know, she's, they, like you said, the pain. She knows the pain. And the cardio. I mean, if you have three kids, you are on your feet all day. Yes. Ooh, Brianna, there was a nice oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Brianna came with that right. Very quick as well. Carla's kind of clenching up. She's getting a little tight there. You know, that, see that? Brianna's very loose and, and relaxed. Yeah. Light bouncing out on the outside, working side to side. Always like to see that. I love watching that. Like you said, Roper's very loose. She's having, she's feeling it. She's flowing. Yeah, definitely. Nice kick to the head there. Not really making any mistakes. So that was a good way to keep your, you know, keep that that two out there just to keep the distance. Mm -hmm. Nice check by Alvarez. I always feel like when you do that working on the outside and footwork, you're, you're creating a rhythm that your partner has to move to. And so you get to dictate the pace of the fight. It is. It's a that dance. That appears to be what Brianna's doing right now also. She keeps to, yeah, she's staying outside, moving her feet, showing lots of feints. And she has, she has, she has Alvarez really out overthinking some of her kicks now. That's a great way of, of putting it. Ooh, nice. Entry with that one-two over the top. Brianna throwing that one-two-one one as she shifts in. You know, Carla. Carla was born in. Uh, oh, oh, that's nice. spinning back. back. And she's blinking. She, she's. Yeah, Brianna needs to get on her. That actually stunned uh, Alvarez a little bit. And you can see she's now kind of frantically trying to block strikes that aren't coming. Yeah. Ooh. Again. Definitely Roper has the high strike count right now for this first round. 30 seconds to go. Round. 30 seconds to go. Under 30 seconds for this round. I'd be pretty interested to see the changes they make. Well, you know, Carla came out throwing kicks and that kind of back didn't work. Mm. Once she didn't slow uh, Brianna down, what will, you know, what will... Uh, yeah, if Alvarez comes in here and is more forward, which will stop Brianna Roper from having such high volumes on strikes. Now, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like one of the things too here is that Brianna Roper is, doesn't even look halfway concerned about grappling. No. Right, no. There's no threat of, of there, there takedown is, I mean, or... There is no threat because they're both strikers. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're not a, there's not a big game. I mean, uh, Carla can grapple, but her her game is the stand up, and right. so she came out here trying to dominate with the kick. It slowed down a little bit, but uh, she's not doing the Carla that we saw in the last fight that was moving forward all the time, crowding she's, her opponent. She's getting crowded she's right getting now. She's getting crowded because she's using that kick rather than just moving straight forward and throwing those punches. Carla is generally take can take punishment. We saw that in the last fight. And they both have taken good shots, you know. Roper's being very good about entering and exiting right. intelligently. Right, definitely. You know, she lands a couple big blows. She doesn't overstay. She gets back out. She resets, moves her feet. She's coasting. Yeah. It's yes. a really nice coast that you see. Well, and, you know, again, going back to that whole rhythm thing, a little bit slower, a little bit faster. Not super faster or right. super slower. You, you just kind of pull them along or push them along. And Roper doing a very good job of pulling along. We'll see what they did, what they changed now. That's a high level technique too, just learning where your coast is and, you can and see staying there. Her right back on it. She switches out and then goes to the side. You see her smiling, Brianna smiling. Yeah, she's like, I got something for you here. Oh, oh and she got caught with the left there. She got caught coming in, it's kind of slowed her down. She Roper does throw really like, good straight punches. She yeah. throws and Roper looks like she she's about ready to jump in, plant, and just land some bombs. That's what she's wanting to do in this. Oh, she got her oh, in the yeah, eye. Oh, yeah, she caught her in the eye. 
And Brianna doing a good job of recognizing that coming in for a flurry. Carla not backing down. Though. Alvarez does not care. No. She's like, all right. Yeah, that's the Alvarez we should have yeah, seen in the first, in the first round, round. Where she just wasn't. Because now, now Brianna's not moving forward. She's, well, she's old backing phrase, up. The, the bleeding tiger. And uh, Carla very well might not even just feel the power first there so that go. she could respond. But Brianna needs to be very careful about just spinning like that with no attacks. Yeah. She's got to follow through with something. Because you can't do that with Alvarez. Alvarez here with the clinch. Nice. Little dirty clinch. boxing, working for that. Oh, that nice knee to the knee. face. Right, a beautiful knee to wow. the face. Wow. Roper immediately on the takedown, though. And how yeah. quickly the hey. grappling shows yeah, up. Like Roper it. did not <laughs> like that knee to the yeah, face. No. I, wouldn't, I didn't like that knee to the face. I'm sitting here with you boys. A big takedown, though. She needed this to keep the round uh, live for her with that big knee. And she does, finding Carla pressed up against the cage. She's, now she's not doing a good job at holding, let, controlling the legs. She's, right. she's letting them legs are really loose. And she needs to be on, like, Hips sitting. Hips in, put some hit, pressure yeah. in. She's sitting out, see, and, yeah. well, she's pulling Well, you can see leg. Carla's got a really nice little weave there on the leg, which actually is kind of keeping her there. Mm -hmm. So Brianna can kind of float here as she is, just throwing those. And Carla's holding herself here. She needs to, yes, let go of that. Use your outside leg. Don't let go of it, though. Yeah, this is well. Brianna taking the back. Carla so scraping kind of, her. Kind of a sloppy taking the back. Yes, yeah, trying to scrape her off that cage. 51 and seconds Alvarez to go in the first round. doing a good job at fighting the hand. She's, you know, she's, oh, oh, that wasn't going. it. That's And Brianna locking it in. One hook, cranking. Alvarez reaching up. And oh, there gets yeah. the, tap. the tap. Brianna Roper. With the finish in the second round. Very Rear naked dominant. choke. Very dominant. Good that job. Was a, that was a very good, well. It was a well-paced fight for Roper. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's her second. And, and uh in uh, Frisco. Frisco. Yeah, yeah. You know, she's really coming on her own. She's taking tough fights, and those tough fights are paying off as we go. When she, she gets to that point, she hits a pro, she's going to be ready. She's very confident in there. You can see yes. that. But not cocky. Not right, cocky right, confident no. and doing yeah. stupid mistakes. But we'd really like to see her clean up on the ground, get that. I mean, she's a very talented woman. Right, right. Very talented, talented woman. She's got a very... Very intelligent. I love, like Craig was saying earlier, just kind of coasting through and finding that flow state, that rhythm. And Carla's tough. Very tough fighter to be in here with. So that's that's a hell of a victory. Done in great fashion. You know, well done. You know, well Carla's done, gonna, Carla's, she, She'll learn a lot from that also because she, 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 went, she went against her game in the first round. She could have made that a little bit more of a, a battle in the first round to make it. Well, she might not have been so uh, game to go there. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight comes to an end at 2 minutes and 22 seconds of the second round. For your winner, by submission from a rear naked choke, Brianna! So first and foremost, you came back into the cage. You looked fantastic on your feet, moving, flowing, coming to that second round. Were you, was that still the game plan, or was it, if I can get it to the ground and look for a finish, I will? Um, yeah, that was the game plan. They, my corner told me after the first round, they were like, that was perfect. You're doing everything we're telling you to do. They were like, keep going. That, that's the game plan, just keep doing your thing and just finish it, keep it, keep it there. Well, I have to say, you're always such a vibrant, fun personality to watch fight. You come out smiling, you come into the round smiling, you end the fight smiling. What is it about fighting in this peak cage that makes you just so happy? Honestly, I just, I love MMA, I love training, it's my passion, and I think that's what fuels me. Like, I just, I forget about everything and I just am in bliss. I'm just so happy to be here and it's just so much fun for me. Well, I think that anyone who's watched your fights can agree that was a dominant and amazing performance. We can't wait to see what you have in store for us next. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.
Well, that was the fight. Brianna Roper defeated Carla Alvarez by rear naked choke.